projections or uh -huh. how do you perceive their work and when I say authors I'm referring to foreign authors from okay. English as second language in mm -hmm. some countries as well as you know authors from US so according to you in, in from your experience mm -hmm. what are the major reasons for papers getting rejected well I can't say that there's necessarily any single reason there could be any number of reasons. All of our rejections and acceptances are determined by our associate editors and our editor-in-chief and the possibilities can range you know from it's you know, not high enough quality or priority. Um, maybe it's not innovative enough or it could be that we recently published something very similar. There's just any number of reasons that might lead to a piece being rejected. Uh, but say for example, mm -hmm. in your editorial, uh, say discussions or updates, mm -hmm. have you as a group identified, say, top five issues that you face, uh, or top five reasons that lead to rejections? We haven't really done any, um, really any studies or reports um, about that. Uh, like I said, it really just depends. Um, you know, it goes through the peer review, and it just depends on what they find that's positive or negative about the study. Um, you know, we'll have multiple people look at it even before a manuscript is accepted. We have, you know, the entire editorial team have, uh, they have an opportunity to take a look at it just to see, you know, if it meets the high standard of quality, um, you know, for GIE. So, you know, I wish I, I had specifics, um, mm -hmm. but there's, I can't really give a set you know, top few reasons that something might be rejected. So let me put this across uh, mm -hmm. uh, this way. So what are your uh, top quality expectations from a manuscript? Um, well, really it's, it needs to make sure that you need to make sure that it's sound research. Um, you know, check that your statistics are correct, check that um, your facts are um, correct, uh, make sure that it's original work, it's something Thing, um, that hasn't been already published, you know, you can definitely do a search of the literature and see what else is out there. Uh, and um, yeah, and just make sure that you're writing clear, concise work. You, um, it's it, content is really the most important thing, I would say. Um, you know, it's 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 important to you know, when in, when you're submitting a paper to any journal to look at their guidelines um, read the instructions for authors uh, make sure that you're submitting the correct components um, the correct formatting but it's really all about content um, when it comes to acceptance or rejection absolutely yeah I mean if the science is sound enough R right <laughs> like you said one of your major challenges is to get good publications so if the science is good enough right there are higher chances of getting accepted and the journal. Quality of language a common uh, reason for rejection? Uh, no, it's, it's um, I, I, like I said, a, a manuscript could be accepted or rejected for any reason, but we, we, don't, we do give leeway um, when we have an author who's not um, particularly comfortable writing in English. Um, you know, it's more about content when it comes to that, but like I said, we do encourage um, authors who are uncomfortable writing in English to use translation services or just or have somebody who is a native English speaker look over the um, manuscripts so they can uh, you know help um, kind of clean it up I guess a, a little bit just just um, it, it certainly makes it easier for the reviewers and editors to understand um, and appreciate the research if, um, if the writing is clear. Um, well, we do w recommend that if you're not comfortable writing in English, that you have um, a native English speaker look over your submission before you submit it, um, or you use a translation service. We, we give leeway to, uh, to um, non-English writers Obviously, we're not just flat out rejecting uh, papers if they have um, grammatical issues. Uh, but it's you know it's always great to just make sure that you're turning in the best quality um, submission that you can, and if that means that you need to have it looked at by 
um, somebody who's more familiar with the language, then you know that might be a good option.